I grew up Roman Catholic, um, and from the age about to the age of three years old until I was 19, I wanted to be a Catholic priest. And that was what I wanted to do. Um, I even found a boarding school run by Benedict the Monks to go to because I just knew that that would be the perfect, the perfect place to help form me as a great Catholic priest. When I was 19, I went through the call process and um, as a part of that, they tell you you need to be completely honest. And I was, and part of that was me being gay. And um, after some questioning about what that meant, I realized that my queerness was too much to be a good Catholic priest. And so while that no was devastating, I think it was one of the best things that happened in my life, right? Because it helped me and forced me to accept myself and find out who I really am. So I um, had heard of the Episcopal Church before and knew that the worship was very similar, but um, Growing up as a good Catholic person, you know, I did not agree with the politic around um, women ordination and also um, while they have these queer people running around, you know, as a closeted queer person myself. Um, and I had to unlearn a lot of what I had been taught from a young age. You know, growing up, someone asked me what I believed, I would see what the Catechism of the Catholic Church said. And then I would come back and tell you that, well, this isn't what I believed because I had that, the church to back me up. So it took me a minute to um, uh, let that guard down, to be open to the possibility of God calling me to, and, uh, to calling me to a more authentic relationship with them, right? Um, and so I went to the Episcopal Church for the first time, I think it was in 2014, loved the worship, but then, you know, my Catholic groups were just kept pulling me back. So. I uh, was unchurched for a while and um, went with a different friend another time, just gave it a chance and come to realize that I think this is where God has been calling me all along, right? The opportunity to show up as me and not to have to hide different parts of me to participate, um, as well as uh, a place as a genderqueer, non-binary person to be able to grow in that and grow in my faith and relationship with God and with others um, was really powerful. So the Episcopal Church has overall has been really great to me. And I am very grateful, you know, back in 2014 for that first visit to the Episcopal Church because if it weren't for that, you know, no telling where I'd be now.